Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your fonts in the PyCharm IDE. But first, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have PyCharm open with the Monokai theme for my editor and the new UI. And there's two different kinds of fonts you can change. You can change the UI fonts and then the specific editor fonts where you write your code. So the UI fonts would be here. The editor font fonts are here where this Python program is. Okay, so to do that, that's pretty easy. We can go up to the hamburger menu here in our new UI and open up our file and we can navigate down here to settings. But you'll also see that there is a keyboard shortcut control alt s. That's the one I like to use when I open up my settings. So I'm going to do Control Alt S. And as my settings open, I can go to Appearance here. And if I click on Appearance and I look down here, I see the option to use a custom font. OK, so I can click on that. And then you'll see the default font is this inter font, which is size 17. But if I hit this menu here, uh, I have a bunch of different fonts. So I can go up and um, I have Droid Sans Mono, for instance. I installed Cascadia Code, so I have Cascadia Code here. Um, if you install a font, you'll just have to restart PyCharm so it recognizes the font is installed. So let's select Cascadia Code and let's change the size here from 17. Let's make it a little bit larger. Let's make it 22. And that'll change the UI fonts. And if I click on that, Click on Apply, rather, and then OK. Look at that. All the fonts on the sidebar and stuff change, but the editor font does not. OK, so to change the editor font, I can do Control-Alt-S, and you'll see all these are different now. And I can close this out, and I can expand the editor here and go down to Font. OK, and the default font is JetBrains Mono, and this is the size which is actually 16.25 is the default size and I can go down here and there's a lot of fonts that come installed for instance Fira code comes installed Droid Sans Mono is installed JetBrains Mono Inconsolata is installed and then there's of course ones that I did install like Cascadia code and I also installed Hermit here so let's say I want to do Hermit I can check on Hermit and I can also change the size here if I delete this out. And let's say I want to do 22. I could change the line height if I want. I could even go to the typography settings and I could say the main weight, I want that to be bold, okay? And I'm going to click OK here. And now I've got the Hermit font bold in my editor, okay? Now let's say I'm messing with the fonts and I say, you know what? I, I liked it better the way it originally looked. You can change it back, do Control Alt S. We'll change the UI fonts first. So we'll go back to Appearance here, click on Appearance, and we will uncheck using a custom font. It's going to change it to the original, which enters size 17. I'll click OK. Changes that back now. So the sidebar is back. Uh, the, the UI font is back to normal, but we still have this Hermit font here. I can do Control Alt S, and if I want to change that back to normal, I can go to Editor to Font, and I can click on Restore Defaults, and then OK. And now we're back to our uh, default font that we have for PyCharm. Hopefully, this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like, as it will help get out to more people. Thank you.